Eric, thank you very much for joining us here today. We're really very happy and privileged to have you with us um, for the CCIV 70 years. And we also want to take advantage of this and do a short interview, interview with you. So we have three questions, looking a bit at the past and a bit at the future and our relationship with UNESCO. So the first question is, CCIVS was created under the aegis of the UNESCO 70 years ago. How do you think the organization has contributed to the mission of UNESCO? CCIVS is one of very few uh, NGO which were born of UNESCO, I think we can say. So uh, I'm very happy to be here with you on the occasion of the uh, 70th anniversary. It's important that uh, uh, somebody from UNESCO be with you to celebrate this uh, partnership of 70 years. It has been uh, uh, exemplary, I would say, in, in uh, a variety of ways. I think, uh, uh, first of all, uh, this is uh, 70 years and going. So we're looking very much to the future because it's been uh, a very fruitful partnership uh, as well. Uh, CCIVS has contributed to just about every aspect of the mandate of UNESCO, uh, whether it is uh, cultural or, uh, heritage and preservation, whether it is uh, uh, environmental issues, uh, the promotion of peace and justice uh, uh, in societies around uh, the world, uh, and of course education. Uh, this, uh, these are just a, a few of the ways CCIVS has contributed to the uh, promotion of the, of the mandate. It's not like we necessarily work uh, every day uh, together. Uh, but CCIVS and its many uh, uh, arms uh, have been uh, uh, very useful uh, in uh, furthering the, the cause of uh, uh, UNESCO. Thank you. Uh, talking about arms, I'm going to go to Hans. So the permanent representative of Romania to UNESCO, Ambassador Dan Holica, reminded UNESCO member states that CCIVS, along with other NGOs and former partnership, were the little hands of UNESCO. What's your opinion on this statement? Well, little hands sounds a little derogatory in some way, so I understand why he would say that, of course, but uh, uh, at the same time, uh, everybody's hands uh, and brain and counts. Uh, so in that sense, uh, we are all involved in a, a participatory process. We all have something to contribute. Uh, UNESCO at the level of the Secretariat uh, is the location in particular where uh, decisions are made because we are an intergovernmental organization, but afterwards there's a variety of ways in which everybody can contribute. Uh, we work closely with national commissions for UNESCO around the world. We work closely uh, and more and more uh, with a number of other partners, including now with the private sector. But NGOs are probably the, the bedrock of uh, what UNESCO stands for. And uh, in that sense, uh, uh, we uh, need uh, uh, organizations like CCIVS to be not so much the, the little hands, but one uh, of the uh, contributors to uh, this uh, uh, enterprise, which started 70 years ago, as far as our relationship is concerned, but as far as UNESCO is concerned, 73 years ago. Thank you. And how do you see then the relationship between CCIVS and the future, because you talked about the past? Do you have some advice to give us for the development uh, of our partnership? I don't know if I have uh, advice, but maybe some uh, reflections uh, as I am here uh, with you uh, uh, in India uh, for a couple of days. I think uh, uh, it was uh, interesting to uh, hear uh, the testimonies from uh, all of your members, uh, the very moving testimonies, uh, and I think uh, they certainly showed that the movement is alive and well. Uh, at the same time, we all have to uh, look at our performance, look at uh, uh, what has been achieved and the future, uh, so uh, it's important important that indeed you, you look at uh, what the future is going to be uh, made of. Um, I think that the, the spirit of volunteerism uh, exists beyond uh, our organization, our organizations, including CCIVS, uh, and perhaps uh, taking stock uh, of uh, what else is done in the field of uh, volunteerism is important. Uh, there are many other ways to contribute to society other than through a structure, uh, and that perhaps is uh, one reflection uh, uh, to, uh, to have. Uh, there are new entities that are being born, uh, there are new movements, uh, and we need to work together. All of us uh, need to work together. So uh, that's what I would encourage. Okay, mm -hmm. great. Well, thank you very much. Once You're again, welcome. thank you very much for coming here and for participating, and uh, we hope to see you soon. <laughs>